So we pulled this calf this morning because he's slow to the trough. He is a little gutted. His respiration was a little high. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a rectal temperature because that will give me an idea of what's going on. So his rectal temperature is 104.6. So I'm gonna give him cattle active to help with the acidosis. And also, cattle active will drop the rumen temperature in this calf because rumen temperature can be a degree higher than rectal temperature. So he may have a, room, a core temperature of 105, and I want to drop that and help him feel better. So the next thing I'm going to do is with the temperature that high, I'm going to give him a shot of antibiotic that I already had pulled up. I'm gonna give him 10 on this side. And then I'm gonna give him 10 on this side. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and give him some amprolium or corid because I know that coccidiosis is a major problem we have here and I know this calf's not going to respond to my antibiotic near as well if I don't keep him eating and drinking and keep his core temperature down. So we're going to deal with the coccidiosis which is causing us problem and damage in the GI tract. We're going to give him cattle active to help with his pH level, keep the acidosis out of him where he eats and drinks and keeps eating his way through this sickness. But if you don't address the acidosis and you just give this calf uh, an antibiotic, you may not be dealing with what the problem is because at 104, this calf probably has coccidiosis. But I'm also gonna give him some antibiotic to keep from that turning into a respiratory problem. After that, I'm just gonna let him out, put him by himself or with some other calves where he doesn't have to fight for feed and he can recover very quickly.